All right, let's find the unit conversion from millimeters to meters. What do we have? We have 5,600 millimeters. We're going to change them into meters. So we're going to use this acronym across down here, K-O-O-U-O-C-M. What does it stand for? The acronym is a phrase, and it stands for Keep Off Our Ugly Orange Cat Mat. Keep Off Our Ugly Orange Cat Mat. That's, what, that's how you remember the letters. The first letter, K, stands for kilo. U is units. That stands for meters here. The units we're working with is meters because it's uh, length we're working with. C stands for centi, like centimeters. And M stands for milli, like millimeters. Okay, let's have a look where we're at. So let's identify where the millimeters is. Well, millimeters is right here, isn't it? So we're going to start here at millimeters. Start at millimeters, right there. And we're going to move to meters. Now, where's meters? Meters is under units. There's meters. So meters is going to be right there in the middle. So that's meters right there. So we're going to go from millimeters to meters. So let's count how many places from millimeters to meters. So we're moving to the left. So we start at M for millimeters. One, two, three, right here at meters. So we're moving three places, three places to the left. Three places to the left from millimeters to meters. Okay, let's move three decimal places for this guy here. So let's write out what we have. 5,600, and the decimal place is on the extreme right. We're going to move it, how many places? Three to the left. So let's go ahead and move it three places to the left. So it's going to be one, two, three between the five and six. So the answer is 5.6. 5.6 what? 5.6 meters, because we went to meters right there, meters. See that? So 5,600 millimeters is equivalent to 5.6 meters. There you go. Hope that helps.